actually. I also put this on YouTube as well, so it's recorded. Uh, as it is relatively early on, just four minutes into the game, and I don't know. Let's see if I can get a whisper out of candle. Some graphics too, which would be nice. Uh, I want to know. Let's okay, get so. it on. Just diffusion and Solar Club. Sorry about this, guys. We're trying to update graphics, and might as well just be in the game while I'm doing it. Look how pretty that looks. There's some chat going on. <laughs> anyway, we've got, let's see, Hellward inside looking at Pebbles, Dark Lady, nope, somebody chasing Magmus down to the top. Pebbles, Dark Lady, Magmus, Dr. Pulsar, and Empath, so lots of initiation potential and a lot of greed too on the Solar Club lineup as they've picked up the Jungle Doctor once again. We saw that earlier in their Hunter matches, and apparently they're feeling like it's pretty nice. But a lot of the heroes are going to need farm here, and if they get off that uh, impressive farm, then things could go quite well. But Noobic Noob, only level 2, 83 gold per minute. He's having some issues so far. And he's going to show himself, which was not a great plan, because he's immediately going to get caught out and killed. And ends up being... It's a 4 for 1 hero kill advantage now for the Legion side, who have picked up Swiftblade, Puppet Master, Myrmidon, Bubbles, and Bramble. Yeah. <laughs> Brand one for an alchemist bones? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> anyway. So you jump once again onto Pup Master in the middle lane, and he could be in some trouble wall actually not doing all that much for the essence link. It's gonna help out with a lot of damage. One more auto attack, no! PM basically playing that really, really well. Empath also missing the wall. Not the greatest thing there from Stan March. Probably would have had the kill with a little bit better positioning, but unable to pick it off. And top tower gonna be pressured pretty heavily by this Bramble and Myrmidon combination. Swiftblade also hanging around, uh, hanging around a little bit as well. Nobody seems particularly interested in defending this in the top lane on the Hellburn team. You can understand why they kind of have to play defensive at this point, because Solar Club is the a little bit down a tower. in terms of gold and experience. And actually, pretty significantly down in terms of gold. So their farm is just kind of bad across the board. Candor for 320 GPM, but everybody else below 200. I guess they lost middle lane pretty damn hard. And you compare that to Legion team, 470 gold per minute for the Bramble. Kind of nutso. He's also got an Aquamus Bones, so he'll be taken off even further in farm, and wouldn't be surprised to see him get super, super tanky and basically impossible to kill. But Bramble, yeah, here we don't see too often on the competitive scene, and not particularly surprising as he is a little bit awkward in my opinion, but he's got a lot of potential, especially having that wall very, very powerful, and it's relatively short cooldown, I think, right? Uh, yeah, 90 seconds at level one and only 70 seconds at level three so has it for pretty much every team fight and it can do a lot it can also do very little so depends on you know walls like that it's Let's really, really get it on. helpful to get good ones off because if you don't it's kind of a useless spell it doesn't do all that much damage and another well, actually they were doing the wall versus wall strat apparently here they do have the empath on the hellborn side so we'll see whose walls win and in the bottom lane, Bubbles kind of hiding in the woods. Might be getting dove here. Throws a Shell Surf out. 
Actually doesn't even port to it, and now they know he's here. I think they also know the Shell Surf's been used, so they will stun. No, actually, well done with the take cover, and the Kelfield's there as well. Dark Lady is gonna die to this. God, no, that's very bad. Ooh, that's not good. And they also managed to kill Pebbles in the middle lane, so yeah. Uh, man, Salim, huge plays. Kandorf, the only one who is farming particularly well on the Solaire Club side, and he's now 280 gold per minute, just not doing all that well. We'll see. Doctor trying to look for something onto the Swift Blade, but he's not going to find it because he can't quite get the auto attack over the cliff. Of course, still level 3, so he can't jump. And now Noob McNoob no longer wishing to be here. We'll just teleport to the top lane. No, to base, excuse me. And he'll heal up. For some reason, I thought he was Kandorf. But as far as this game goes, Twisted Fusion definitely in a pretty advantageous position. And of course, we just saw them in a replay go up against Frogno Hippo and look good in two games. Although, to be fair, it's just as much Frogno Hippo not looking great as it was Twisted Fusion looking good. But in this game, against the Solar Club, another team that's looked good so far in Hauntor. Can you guys just see that bubble split? That split in nope. huge, man. We got apparently a that was spectator. Ginormous. Spectators helping cast. Always nice. Um, You're okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. And I could disable that, but I really don't feel like it. Alright, uh, BRB, I'm gonna go get something to eat. Maybe some popcorn. <laughs> not playing counter words. Bottom looks like Madness could be in a little bit of trouble. He has a lot of surge away, but he's gonna have to use it. Uh, okay. Apparently, I'm Kate has homework. The middle lane pushing to come through from the Legion side. Looks like they should be able to hit this tower relatively quickly. <laughs> Ramble using his Alk Bones on a creep. Not the most efficient use. I guess maybe he doesn't know. He doesn't have an extra charge, so didn't have to use that. Uh -huh. And we'll also drop the wall here to try to kill the tower as quickly as possible. And that'll be a pretty easy tower kill. Bottom lane, meanwhile, so Swift Blade gonna be able to get boxed out by this Magnus. But not particularly heavily. And he'll just continue to see us as Army of Mums, who is their suicide player on the Solar Club side, I assume is the guy that was in this lane. Moving on, looking for something. Shell Surf, not going to see anybody. He's sneaky, but oh, that's bad. We're all going to go down here. We, we will drop a ward, but now he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Has the wave for him. Will he be able to get it off? Nope. Chuck can help finish him off. The rest of the Legion side is now jumping. And just went on the spell. He'll be their target. Nice. Actually, Stalagmite's done. Goes through, connects on all of them. A two man Lava Surge is going to help out as the well. Kelfield goes down onto Magmus. He'll just try to Lava Surge away here. Or not spin. Not spin, whatever. Steam back, one of them things. Level 5 on this Doctor, but now he's going to be in some trouble as he gets the Puppeteer's Hold on him, plus the Puppet Show, and he's going to die right off the bat. Bubbles with the Shell Surf helping to finish him off, and the bottom lane, Pipe Master now trying to turn this onto Dark Lady. Yep, going to be able to kill her, and oh Bubbles will survive as Stan Marsh dies on that Empath as well. Bramble now running away, looks like he will be okay. And the Legion side are basically just crushing this game at this point. Swift Blade and he had spun, and they'll be fine. Massacre. And they kill Army of Mums again. So I'm expecting a CC vote in about three minutes. The GPM charts here, and that's not pretty. <laughs> Bramble just loves uh, Alchemist Bone well, Digger Creep. And they'll be able to kill this tower as well, despite the use of the cliff. The Legion had destroyed a Hellborn Tower. Ugh, <laughs> oh, such BM. Empath gonna get caught up by the Weep Field and the Magic Cart, but no follow up damage. And remember, we'll just run away and Puppet can teleport on out. So, first tier tower, tier 2 tower killed by the Legion team.
I'll play Noob Noob. Gonna push down here a little bit, but a little out of mana. And he will now run away, which is the right call. He's Mermaid actually coming through, but it looks like Noob McNoob. He's gonna be allowed of here? Yeah, he will. So, give me into that. And we've got. Who's that? Natsumi. As that's another player I don't recognize. Twisted Fusion missing. Uh, damn it, we just casted their games. And at, at the same time, I apparently cannot remember who their last player was that is not here. So who's their mid player? Saxy's their mid player. Who's their second support slash jungle player? God damn it. I always have this problem. Let us hope is who they're missing. Yep. So Abu not here. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate for them, but it doesn't seem like it's hurting them all that much. Hopefully, going to get jumped by the Lava Surge and a combo. Eruption going down as well. Probably not necessary, but it does help them finish off the kill. So at least something to get them back in the game on the Hellborn team. And we'll see if they choose to take that as a sign of things to come, or if they figure their Dark Lady getting caught here is even worse. Yeah. I'm really expecting a CC bug in about 30 seconds. And they're going to get the jump once again on the Empath. In the middle lane, Kelfield is there. And Chelsea will finish him off. Looks like Bubbles will be okay. Yeah, Pebbles is going to get killed himself, in fact. And... So, things going very badly for the guys in Solar Club right now. And five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, CC. Nope, apparently not. In the middle lane. Not a big surprise. They've actually got counter kill here on him. Ronan. Nope, he's got waveform. He's fine. Empath now could be in some trouble. He gets chucked back in, actually. And it's a star. So Lightmite's gonna miss. They do manage to kill Bubbles in the meantime. Magic Arc gonna help finish off the Empath right there, who's still level 4 in 15 minutes. Anyway, so Slash is coming down onto Jusman on the Pebbles. And there's the Steam Bath gonna be able to force out of it. But the Weed Field looks like he's gonna be in some trouble because the Magic Arc man will get finished off. So. Ends up being a 4 for 1, as they do kill the Bubbles, but they lose 4 heroes. Tower. There goes that. <laughs> Bottom lane, Noob McNoob dies as well. 20 to 4. So, not really sure what Solar Club is waiting on here. I guess they want to get stomped even harder than they already are. But the guys in Twisted Fusion are probably having a pretty good time with this. Just like, I don't know, well, if you're not going to concede, we're going to keep killing you. There's nobody on the Hellborn side above 250 GPM, and Marmadon, the only one on the Legion side, is below that mark. If it were for that Dark Lady and the Marmadon, really, it'd be all Legion heroes above all Hellborn heroes.
Lance gets me stolen. Final Legion team here. Please be watch next game. Uh, this is not a replay. This is in fact live. So, no. In fact, we can't because the next game has not existed yet. But I agree, and I'm not really sure why Solar Club is sticking in this. Um, it doesn't make a ton of sense to me. They're down 21 to four. They're down hugely in golden experience. They should know that they're not having a great time. Um, I don't know where they think the recovery potential is going to come from. There's a swift blade and a puppet master on this Legion team. It's not like they're going to be. You know. Oh, we got the light game here. PM with the shroud. Open on the Magmus. And actually, he's gonna get countered on. We'll be in a lot of trouble as he dies right there, but the Swift Slashes go through. There's one kill, two kills. Noob now out of mana. He's gonna drop the Magnetic Contraption. That's actually just gonna help him die. And RB of Mums falling in the background. There goes Noob McNoob, and we'll see if they can complete the genocide with. No, not genocide, excuse me. But uh, Stan March dying. And here comes Doctor back in. Gonna give the Annihilation. To Mr. Swiftblade? Nope. Massacre. Yep, well played, Bub. So Yeah. I I don't really know what the heck's going on here in terms of what the guys in Solar Club are thinking. But they're getting wrecked on this. Alright, there we go. I don't know. Ah, ah, still on there, and the eruption gonna go off with the spin. And so it's just like, yeah, I don't care. Mermon almost has his codex. He does have 2,000 gold. And puzzle <laughs> portal key on Swift Blade, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, Myrmidon going Codex, why not? There is, looks like we're going to get a mock on the Bramble. And Empath is level 6 finally, we'll see if she can do anything with that ulti. Nope, she's going to die. Meanwhile, Noob McNoob going to be in trouble. Actually, just went away like a counter kill on Slop, please. But now he could certainly pay for that. Kelpfield onto two. And yeah, he'll be the first one to die. Cover of Darkness goes down. And looks like Doctor and Crawl as well. Pause. Get it on. <laughs> and that was meant to be a conceded vote. Off to the side here, Pump Master will be able to catch out Dark Lady, and Pause she's dead. Double tap. So the All Star might get in the kill. Because he needs his codex. <laughs> Top lane, Magmus. You okay? Nope. There goes the silence. A couple more autos. And nice disjoint. But there goes the game. So that game is the first in a scrim series between Twisted Fusion and Solar Club. And Twisted Fusion getting wrecked or taking the easy victory. Solar Club's the one that's getting wrecked, not Twisted Fusion. Am I just crazy? But uh, I think that's gonna do it for this.